Well, and for more on the same-sex bill passed by the Senate, we've been joined by Dr. Joe Keo Dumaking, a human rights activist. But we'd like to start by asking how you feel with all of this. Uh, does it affect the fundamental human rights of uh, people of same sex? Well, uh, it is glaring that it affects the fundamental human rights of people with same sex. But in our own society, we know that Nigeria is a deeply cultural society. Again, it's also in line with natural order because we also know that even animals, you know, they do not engage with same sex. But when we are talking about fundamental human rights, it's a matter of choice. Whatever anyone chooses in life, if a, a person's choice is to get married to a person of the same sex, is their rights. We also look beyond what their right entails. Although we also fear that in protecting their rights, it will also adversely affect their health. And then we have to blend their rights with the health of the society. Yeah. But now, sorry, sorry to button that. Now you're talking about a society. Uh, you know, most people or some people who argue against uh, this uh, same sex marriages, they all put that uh, on morality and religion. And if the law stipulates that a religion and state should be separated, how do you view such uh, uh, views? Well, it's, it's a very difficult thing to separate religion from the state because we know it, it's always been said that Nigeria is a secular state. But the truth about it is that religion is practiced either Christianity, either Islam, either uh, uh, traditional religion. So it's very, very difficult. We have our own values, although we have that moral crisis. But beyond that, I really think that there is no way in which the law can be taken in abstract. So whatever we do in terms of practice, we still have to consider religion, we have to con consider the society. Again, in consideration of uh, these two issues in line with the law, we also have to consider the young ones who might mistake natural order for social distortion. And that is why it is very, very important that in as much as we try to protect the rights of those who believe in same-sex marriage, we still have to let them understand the consequences in terms of the health hazards and all that. But if it is their own choice, there's really nothing one can do about it. Because we practice by camera legislation by the time the uh, states... Uh I mean, the nation's uh, House of Representatives actually passes this bill and uh, gets the president's uh, assent. It becomes law. So where there lies the rights of people of same sex? Uh, because uh, they say, uh, can they now get a lawyer to pursue any of these rights uh, taken from them by the government? I really think that it's, it has to be a continuous thing. As the, at the level of uh, advocating for their rights, will continue you know to do that and they can also go a step further in letting others realize why they deserve such rights but i i think that what we we'll try to let the society understand and those who want to engage in this same sex thing is that no matter what it is we we'll have our own culture who cannot live outside the society. But when this law, when the president assents, you know, to this bill, I really think that is subject to abuse either by the law enforcement agents, not even that those who are not really conscious, who are not properly sensitized, will also tend to abuse this. So we need to do a lot of sensitization. I also have to realize that Nigeria cannot live in a vacuum. We have to live up to the standard. That is what the law expects. 
at the level at, at the domestic level at the international level and very quickly here do you think this bill could have some kind of repercussions on us as a country it, it will surely have because uh, when we are talking about rights at this point in time we are all advancing in terms of protection of human rights so it's going to affect us in terms of aids but i really think that we still have to do a rethink in ensuring that those who should have such genuine rights are not shut out and then we need to educate others even the society in realizing that although we have come a long way we try to protect their rights let the citizens even realize the dangers of practicing such thing and then we blend both and then lastly here in prioritizing prioritizing our, our wants uh, of uh, of people as a nation is this one of the things or one of the dire needs of the people of the country i really think that at this point in time we are facing serious challenges in terms of security in terms of infrastructure in terms of even the removal of fuel subsidy that i mean we, we should we will come to face now in terms of worker salary you know taking the, their take-home pay not being able to cater for their needs so i think that in terms of priority this is not what should bother us at this point in time as a nation we have all other burning issues that will move us forward as a nation, that will even assist us at, uh, to, as, as a nation to survive. Because we are talking about gay, we are talking about same sex. If we don't have this country as one, then there will be no place in which we can start advocating for rights. So I really think that this is a wake up call. It's time for us to face proper business and realize that there are other burning issues that seems to bind us and that will eventually move us forward as a nation.